Hi, hello. Welcome to the Worldwide Culinary Apprentice. Uh, I am Hiroko Shinbo. Uh, today I will show you uh, eggplant, uh, which I am going to grill and use it in uh, miso soup. This is wonderful summer, fall uh, kind of a miso soup. Okay, so uh, I'm going to grill the eggplant. And I will show you a little trick uh, here to start. And actually, already my other second or first eggplant is being cooked. Uh, let me uh, give you a little more explanation uh, after showing you a trick. So, uh, after grilling, uh, I am going to peel the eggplant. And to make the peeling process easy, uh, this is how we do. So this is the top of the eggplant, and this has a, a little frill. And make uh, just a very shallow cut, uh, just along the a kind of neck, uh, neck of the eggplant. Uh, which means you are uh, just cutting off uh, this uh, frill of the area so it looks like uh, this then one more step and this is another just a very very shallow uh, cutting uh, into from the top to the bottom one two maybe one inch one and a half inch apart three four five six, uh, seven. So the eggplant has uh, insertion, uh, seven. Okay, then uh, here is the, uh, already I started, and actually almost ready. And you can see the eggplant steaming, and the very nice, uh, uh, cooked and you can check if it's done uh, just by pressing okay this is how I do it and here you see uh, this is a, a kind of a beaten up <laughs> I have been using for many many years uh, fish grill uh, you definitely need this grill and gas uh, stove top not the electric stove top and I start with a pretty uh, high heat, about uh, this, and then put the eggplant, uh, this very thick side, on top of the fire. Uh, stay. Okay, then uh, with the uh, aluminum foil, just uh, lightly cover it. So this helps uh, quicker cooking and even cooking. Takes about uh, 20 minutes uh, with this size. Uh, I do uh, turn over one time just to, to cook through even. But maybe 15 minutes this side, 5 minutes uh, on this side. Okay, so here I have cooked and uh, here is the uh, wooden skewer uh, and you need this skewer and put this skewer under uh, maybe I always do this way uh, this skin and then just uh, you using this skewer peel off the skin this is very very easy so and don't, uh, it is, yes, uh, really hot, but don't put this under uh, running tap water because you are losing the most, uh, the best flavor. Eggplant taste uh, becomes abundant uh, during the summertime and the flavor is great. Well, in Japan, uh, the Japanese eggplant has uh, less uh, seed or less seedy. And at the beginning of autumn uh, to mid of autumn, uh, 
uh, the eggplant becomes uh, a kind of a less seedy, seedless. And we enjoy autumn eggplant very much. And this is one of the best way to enjoy. Uh, it is, uh, this is the really true heart of way to cook vegetables in the Japanese way. No oil at all. Uh, just uh, so that you can enjoy the uh, true flavor of the eggplant. Or if you don't like eggplant, maybe <laughs> this doesn't fit to uh, your uh, preparation. Okay, so everything is uh, peeled off, very nice, clean. Then first uh, cut off the bottom or the top side and then uh, into half. Okay, and then uh, the top side, well no, this is the bottom top. <laughs> bottom, bottom is wider, so I just flip this over, make it even, and then slice into uh, this one. I just do quarter. And each one gets uh, this portion for one miso soup. And uh, uh, I am. I just want to mention uh, about my favorite knife. Uh, I am. I use Takamura knife. Uh, that's well, Japanese knife makers are producing fantastic knives, uh, and this is one of them which I love. Okay. And here you need uh, little greens. Uh, in this miso soup, uh, we always add some, uh, we call it yakumi, or seasoning, or no, uh, spice, or herbs. And the miso soup, uh, just uh, scallion green is always good. So, now, uh, back to the, uh, the main part of the miso soup. Uh, let me check. Here, as you can see, it is nicely cooked. Uh, lots of steam coming out from the eggplant. Okay, so the body of the uh, miso soup is, yes, dashi, and has to be freshly made. Mm. A wonderful flavor. Uh, this is two and a half cups. Uh, it's about for three persons uh, miso soup. Okay, so uh, this is dashi and it needs to be heated up. So put it over uh, medium heat and heat up. And what you need is miso soup needs miso. Well, I will do a little more uh, depth of uh, explanation about miso in my later video. Uh, but uh, this is the from the uh, color you can tell that this is dark or red. Uh, the miso is like cheese. The color uh, some is white, uh, yellowish white. Some is dark uh, red. Uh, the color is decided by the uh, length of the fermentation. It is like, uh, very much like cheese. So, darker one, firmer, uh, the fermentation is longer, uh, usually over one year, if the miso is made in a proper uh, art artisan way. And uh, longer fermentation requires more salt, in the product, so it is uh, more saltier. And the good part of the uh, long fermented miso is uh, the fermentation produces lots of uh, nutrients, vitamins or uh, the other uh, nutrients in the miso. So uh, much more nutri uh, nutri nutritious. And also the flavor is bolder, uh, like uh, fermented stinky cheese. 
So I love this uh, long fermented one, a red. Okay, let me check my eggplant here. Okay, so it is time to flip over. So flip this over and then back under the uh, foil. Okay, now this is pretty coming up, uh, already started to simmer. So, uh, first I will do is this kind of, uh, well, if the eggplant is not cold, just use straight uh, like this. Uh, this is the miso soup cup, which we use in Japan. It is made of wood, uh, locker, and it keeps the temperature hot longer. And the Western soup dish uh, served at the beginning of the meal, and you have to finish it before moving on to next dish. Japanese meal, you don't finish the miso soup first. You just uh, play with other uh, stuff uh, like rice, grilled fish, uh, eggplant salad. You just go round and round and round and finishing the soup uh, along with the other dishes. Uh, that's why the bowl has to keep the soup warm longer. Okay, now this is ready. So here uh, I am first adding this eggplant. into the soup bowl. Then uh, what we always do is uh, we add miso here directly or to make the mixing easier. Uh, just a little bit softening up. And I am doing this off heat uh, because just uh, cooking miso, uh, especially uh, like this in miso soup, uh, is not a good idea. Uh, just flavor uh, cooks away, uh, plus especially uh, if you are using a really good unpasteurized miso. Uh, most miso, miso is heat treated, so yeah, you can cook it. <laughs> so there is no uh, fear to lose good uh, nutrients. Okay, so if the stock or dashi is hot and you do the quick mixing of the miso, here is perfect. So I am going to add the soup. Okay, and here uh, there is uh, one rule. We never fill to the brim. Uh, let me add a little uh, one more. Uh, this guy on top. So this is perfect. And then we need a little yakumi, uh, which is uh, some herbs. To, to add just a little more of flavor. Okay, so this is the grilled eggplant miso soup. And as you know, uh, when you go to Japanese restaurant, you always get wakame, tofu, scallion uh, miso soup. We make so many varieties of miso soup according to the seasonal uh, vegetables and other ingredients. Thank you very much.